Well, good morning, a good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, and welcome to my new series. Uh, I've been trying to plan a lot of different accounts for the new content, and decided to start with this free-to-play collection log account. I have created some graphics to make it nice and easy to follow along, and I am going to go ahead and through on screen what available slots there are to fill on the free-to-play account. First off, we have beginner clue scrolls, which have 16 slots, along with one slot that crosses over with easy clue scrolls, which is the black pickaxe. We then have a Camdozo section that has 9 slots to fill, the Castle Wars mini game which has 30 slots to fill, random events that have 23 slots, miscellaneous items that have a total of 7 slots, and finally the two bosses in free to play that have a unique drop each. As the quick mathematicians have already worked out, it means that there is 88 slots to complete in free to play. With each item that I collect, they will turn green on this lovely little graphic that I've made. The free to play collection log used to have a last man standing in it, but unfortunately Jagged removed the points to be rewarded in the minigame on free to play world. However, if the log opens back up on free to play, I will absolutely make another graphic and add that to the list of slots to complete. To complete this series, I will have to earn all the completable slots in free to play and also adding in the full quest completion. To try and improve and adapt to different situations, I've decided to make this account an Ultimate Iron Man. An Ultimate Iron Man, for players that don't know, is a type of account that is restricted from banking, which means I will only be allowed to have what's in my invent and what I can wield. I've never properly played at UIM before, nor have I played a lot of free to play either, so it will be a great new experience for me. I can't really give a time scale for how long this is going to take to complete, but I think it's going to be an interesting time to work on. Now let's roll the intro, sit back and enjoy. Well, this is going to be a completely new learner and experience for me because I've never done a UAM and haven't done the free to play stuff, which obviously you just heard in the intro as well. So I'm not really sure where to start. I have a little bit of an idea. Uh, I'm kind of torn between going for some prayer levels in the wieldy. Uh, if I empty the invent, um, I don't know at the moment. I'm really not too sure. But we do want to go through the quest list uh, through the free to play uh, optimal quest guide, and we're just going to keep running through. We even though we are going to go for collection logs, obviously this is the reason why we're here. Um, what we want to do is basically go through and do all the quests first. That that's my main my main goal to begin with, and uh, trying to learn some things on the way. All right, we're going to start off by doing Cook's assistant, and obviously to begin with, I do need a bucket and a pot for this. Uh, I don't think I need a bucket and a pot for anything else by the looks of it. So what I'm going to do is just grab the egg, just purely because I need that now, and just get that quest done. It isn't. I know you meant to start all these other quests at the same time, but we're just going to start with this. Obviously, to begin with, it's a little bit of a progression. I do want to get some collection logs before we finish this episode, though, so hopefully we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure what I'm going to go up to, uh, but I'm going to try and make these episodes about 10 minutes long each. Start it. Done. First quest completed. Actually, while we've got this invent, I think I'm going to go do sheep shearer just quickly. I'm trying to see what I really realistically need at the moment and how to get things back. And I know the bronze pick I can get from Lumbridge, so that's not fair. I can... I can sell that actually. Um, what else? Do you know? Any twenty invent spaces? Don't know where half this stuff you get from. Keep the food because you never know with that. Right. I think that's what we're gonna need. I do think I'm probably gonna regret not doing prayer to begin with, but I know that there's gonna be a lot of um, say shamans or something to kill later on. Right. Now they're all done. Let's go finish the quest off there, and that's the second quest completed. Coin each. Don't know how much they heal, but we'll give it a go. So if we do that and we run, run away. Easy. Ah, there it is. Okay, straight up to nine prayer. As you can tell, not used to being a UAM at all. It's not too good, is it? I've already got a full event. No, 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 no. Got a gap. Are we done? There we go. We've got a clue scroll, Southwest Varrock. Uh, what do we use a lamp on? Prayer, probably, yeah. We'll do it on prayer. 11 prayer. Going to be spending a lot of time here one day. Getting our fishing and cooking up. Need to get to them lobsters and swordfish for the good good food. Well, we weren't lucky enough to get a one step beginner, but we do need to go to Railroad anyway. But like, fortunately enough, we are already in Varrock, and I'm pretty sure he's in the Varrock castle, if I remember correctly. We're on our way back to Wizard's Tower. We ended up coming straight to where the beginner clue scroll is so let's see if this is a casket or not it is do we get a collection log on the first 
ever begin a clue scroll on this account. Unfortunately not. Iron pickaxe, so a little bit of an upgrade. Not really necessary. I can't use that yet, so is it worth anything? Could probably sell it to the store, so maybe if I drop... What can I drop? I decided to just pick up these leather boots to see if they had any defensive bonuses. They do. Slash and crush bonus. Drink from here. There's the magic XP. Straight to level 4. What a beautiful sight. Combat level 5. Our stats are getting up there. UIM management. So, so good. Right, so we can sell this 68 coins. Uh, no, if we go in Varel, we can sell it to the archery shop, I think. Let's just make sure they can buy it. Okay, so it looks like by the, the only place they buy it is uh, in the Ranging Guild in members. So 68 coins is all we're going to get. Let's chuck that in. 300 GP right now. I really want to emphasize this bit here. This uh, search wiki function I use so much during this whole time using this account. And it has been an absolute lifesaver. I am feeling rather balling. I'm honest with you. But let's head over to our creator and sell these gems because I'm pretty sure they sell there. We'll waste 10 GP and then we'll just walk north and we don't even have to pay the 10 GP to get out. Winner, winner, chicken fucking dinner. Some cadaver berries. We only need one of these. And we are going to try and get a couple of red berries because we're going to have to make a couple of red berry pies. I just missed that uh, completion there. I did complete the Romeo and Juliet quest. Okay, so now we mix them together. Is that right? And now we have an orange die and that die. And there we go. There's Goblin Diplomacy done. I don't know why, but I just feel like all them years ago, then when we first ever done that quest, it just seemed to take so much longer than what that just was. Random event, and it was a uh, which one? The one where you unlock the chest and the gold ring, which is actually what I need for a beginner clues anyway. So I'm going to keep that on me for now because it's not actually wasting any more invent space. I've just been looking at what quest I'm going to do next, and I need ten mining. I need. To, I'm going to go grab the iron bars after this, I think. Uh, for the Night Sword quest, and they're in the wildy. And then we're going to get 10 mining to do Doric's quest, finish that, then we're going to do the Night Sword. We'll see ones that don't require combat. After that, we need to actually start training some combat up, which we are going to do hopefully with beginner clue scrolls involved as well. So we'll see if we can get some stacks up of that. This is going to take a while, I think. I think I can probably flinch. Let's just see what he hits first. Come on, just hit. Okay. Fair enough. After a while, he despawns anyway. I have just realised that I can teleport the last man standing. I know there is a way of getting... That's the Castle Wars. There's definitely a way of getting here from Edgeville. And I don't actually know how. Loads of music tracks. There's the iron bar. Fair enough. Happy days. Right, so there's the two iron bars collected as long as I get back through. Okay, so now I need to go and... I probably should have done that because I need to go get 10 mining now anyway. I don't have a teleport to get to Varrock, and I don't want to go to Lumbridge to then walk up, so I'm just going to run. 200 coins over a K cash. Nice. And then there's the gold ring as well. We've kept one. Mm, do we want to keep them? I probably should use them, to be honest with you. It's fine if we splash. It's still XP. There we go. Five magic. All right, that's all them used up. I'm just going to drop them. We are going to pet the stray dog because we're a nice person. And there we go with 10 mining. Uh, so yeah, there's the 10 mining requirement. I can go complete that now. But while I'm here, I might as well just carry on and get to 15. Because it didn't actually... I was actually quite surprised. I thought it was going to take me a lot longer, but it doesn't take that long. And uh, seeing as we're just dropping it, we're not banking it and stuff like that. I think that's probably why. And there we go, coming in with 15 mining. Right, now to get a couple of iron ores. We do need a four copper as well, and we'll get some clay here. So as we're mining the clay, we've got the two iron, and we're just about to mine the fifth and sixth clay. Um, we did get a beginner clue scroll, which is um, pretty awesome. I think what I'll do is... I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this one, to be fair. I'm just going to go divert across the quest instead. Uh, we'll end up going copper ore from Alcarid now, since we have to go that way. I forgot about these scorpions. We don't want to die. No! Oh, it's not one step up. It is Lumbridge Way. Perfect. Why am I going to the bank? I don't have a bank. Really not used to this old but Iron Man life. Oh, you can check it here. Okay, decent. I'm full invent again. Surprise, surprise. Right, is this the casket? Let's have a look. No. Grand Exchange. No, it's so far away. I could get some more red berry. I could get another red berry. 
I think this may be the casket now, a third step. I think there's only three steps to a beginner. So let's just do this. Talk to this guy and get the casket. What do we get? Okay, still plate skirt. I can't wear that yet, unfortunately. Shrimps, I guess, are good. All right, let's see if they sell for anything. 2GP. Fuck it. Get them gone. 400-ish coins-ish. All right, let's go to Doric's quest now. Let's finish this up. All right, let's speak to Doric. There we go. 1,300 mine XP, 180 coins, and I can use his anvils. Oh, my God, that's amazing. We got from 15 to 18 mining. Not too bad, actually. How many do we cook? Burn the first one. Okay. Burn the second one. Ah, yes, we've got one. That's fine. And we've got a second. Even better. Well, we're going to buy ourselves a Chronicle. I want to buy 10. That's nearly my whole cash stack. Let's buy five. What do we get? Uh, they're on the floor. Three coal. I ain't going to pick that up. Iron arrows are pretty good. Uh, kind of pointless having that strength potion. We take the iron arrows because there's 51 of them. Okay, there's the blue right ore. And there we go, the knight sword completed, and that does get us up to 29 smithing straight away. There's Ernest. There we go, Ernest the chicken is completed. Happy days. I'm not going to waste 112 GP on an iron skimmy. I think we're just going to go straight for steel. And there we go, coming in five attack. I did miss the level, unfortunately, but that's the training sword no longer needed. I think, I feel like we're going to be a lot safer going down. Oh, and a beginner's blue scroll. Wicked. Might stack up maybe 10 beginners, I think. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. One thing I've noticed while I've been editing, I've got a hell of a lot of clips uh, of my levels and stuff, like it's a progression video. And I think I was just in, obviously, the normal routine as I was with my previous series. Uh, but... Uh, I am going to skip over a hell of a lot of levels. We are going to be going for imp catching. You'll probably see that clip next. Uh, so I do apologize. Obviously, I'm just not used to just doing this sort of series at the moment. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much. We did get another beginner clue. And I've got our first Charlie the Tramp set. Lucky enough, it was an iron ore, which I can do. And straight away, first step. You got to unlock your chest again. Why not? Give me a gold necklace this time. Necklace? Bar. Got another beginner clue. I had to come all the way to Varrock because I forgot to grab this last time I was in Varrock. So now we have a strain device again. We'll leave that in our event for the time being. Obviously, we cannot build stash units in free to play, uh, which means so things like the chef's hat and the red cape. I'm pretty sure you can buy it from the fancy clothes shop here. So you can buy the red cape in the fancy dress shop, but you can only obtain the chef's hat from a goblin, which we'll find out later in the series. It's a little bit of a struggle for me. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of an explanation quickly on what stash units are. Uh, they're used in members well to store specific items that are needed for a particular clue. It basically allows you not to have to grab out of the bank or continually get the items needed. Uh, unfortunately, because we are in free to play, uh, we can't store the items, which means we have to get them back and reobtain them. So we've been killing imps over on this side, as along with obviously normal goblins. And there's a spawn of an imp that just comes over here. And I have been getting the fiendish ashes. And on my fifth imp kill, I did get a black bead. So we are three out of four to go. But see, can we get the back-to-back? -back? Can we get it? It doesn't teleport away as quickly anymore, which is really nice. Back-to-back? Back-to-back! Two out of four to go, halfway. I just came over to get my more air runes and mind runes, and I just got another uh, bead, and that's a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back on that one. I've killed seven imps so far. All I need now is the white bead, and that's it. I end up dropping this clue troll because I don't have the fishing level to get the trout, uh, but I do decide to come back during the quest and pick it up. Uh, this is just while I do the Shield of Rav on two of my accounts. Um, but there we go, there's Shield of Rav done. Well, there we go, there's 20 fishing finally complete. There are a few other uh, skill challenges that I need to actually make sure I do. I think it's 25 fishing and 20 cooking, if I remember correctly. And there's the fifth beginner clue scroll. We've got five more to get. And then we should probably end the episode there. Hopefully we'll get a collection log from that. And hopefully we get a white bead as well. Oh, I just did something so, so silly. I went and killed an imp. And I got a duplicate red bead. I went to sell it. Just it's only one GP, so it's nothing really. But I went to sell it, and just thinking it was nothing, I sold both. Serves me right for uh, jinxing. Seven kills and one bead. One bead needed left. So hopefully we'll get red next, so we don't feel as bad. If we get white, that'll annoy me because that's just my stupidity. Right. Well, it serves me right. There is the white bead. So in 18 kills, I had two red, one black, one white, one yellow. 
and now we are just going to be waiting on that red bead, which now I guess is going to be the infamous red bead. We did finally end up getting the red bead uh, on mobile. I did play a lot of mobile in the mornings before work, and it was uh, it took me a hell of a long time. Um, I wish that I actually just looked at how many imps it actually took me, uh, but I don't remember, so I can't actually tell you, unfortunately. But we did obviously then go along and uh, complete the imp catcher on the old Iron Man to get the amulet of accuracy. All right, this could be the cast get for number 10. It's not just yet. All right, this should be, I think. There we go, 10 beginner clue scrolls. We want to basically sell as much as we possibly can because it's not like I'm going to have much money coming in anywhere else. 10 beginner clue scrolls, and we have zero collection logs. Let's see if we can get at least one. I'll be really happy with one. Okay, there's the first one. Awesome. Haven't got a roo skimmy. So that's kind of frustrating. I feel like I'm going to have to hold on to that for a little while now. Let's see what else we can get. No back to back. Oak short bow. All right, let's sell a couple of these bits off. That is, I love it, but it's so frustrating. Six more. Bare feet. Love it. I love the collection logs. I really do. Ooh, what do we have here? Let's do a maze. What do we get? 494 coins. Very nice. A few feathers. And some steel arrows. Four more to go. What can we receive? Another one. Okay. Well. Out of them 10 collection logs, we got two collection log slots. I'm really happy with that. That's bare feet, which I'm really, really chuffed with. I'm a little bit wary about that rune skimmy ornament kit. I love the idea of it and I really, really want it. I don't know where I can get a rune skimmy early game. Let me have a little Google. Right, well, taking a look at the wiki, it is unfortunate, but by the looks of it, we have to get 90 smith in to get a rune skimmy. That is annoying. But it is a collection of slot. We'll just have to drop it because I don't think it's really worth anything. Do they sell? Sells for 2k, actually. That's not too bad. We'll sell them bits. Sell that. Sell that. But either way, that is going to be the end of episode one um, of the free-to-play clogging episode. I don't actually know what I'm going to name this yet. I'm sure it'll be in the title when I figure it out. But that's it. We uh, This is how we're ending. We've got our bare feet, which I'm very, very happy with. They look good. We need to go. It's a, it is a shame that I'm going to have to get fancy fancy boots and just drop them. But bare feet, I do think, look a little bit better. I'm going to finish this episode with a voiceover instead because I do go on a bit of a mad ramble here. Uh, I know there hasn't been a huge amount of clogging in this, but I was following my feet and just seeing what the UIM account was like. Uh, I've been having an absolute blast in this account, and I hope you all have enjoyed it just watching along and the whole editing process with the graphic as well. Uh, thank you all for watching, and as always, a like and a comment is always appreciated. And if you fancy following along with the series, hit that subscribe button, because we have a hell of a long way to go uh, just to complete this account. It's going to be mad. Uh, thank you all again, and I'll see you in episode two.